So, in this video today, guys, I'll be ranking my top 5 favorite senseis, but with a twist, there'll be another SkyTuber in this video, Alec Windmiller, which you should definitely go check his channel out if you haven't already, and let's get right into my top 5 favorite senseis from Skylanders Imaginators. So anyways, coming in at number 5, I have a starter pack Skylander, Kingpen. Now, Kingpen was an excellent starter pack Skylander in my opinion, and he is a water brawler. Uh, he has really good moves. There aren't any moves that I don't necessarily use. His Sky Chi is overpowered, and also his Sky Chi, if you're playing with the starter pack from the start, is also the first one you get. Uh, it's really good to use on big hordes of enemies, and I just really enjoy him as a Skylander. Coming at number 5 for me is Chop Scotch. Her attacks do a lot of damage. She has a really nice Sky Chi, and her moveset overall is just very, very unique, and I really love chop scotch a lot that is why she gets number five on my list at number four i have pit boss he is a from the sorcerer class and he's just a really really cool he shoots snakes out of his scepter which is really nice he does very good damage and he can even turn into a giant huge snake which is such a cool attack overall pit boss is really really good that is why he gets number four on my list so coming in at number four i actually have a villain sensei uh, this is Dr. Crankcase. Dr. Crankcase was one of the first ones I got, and I've always loved Dr. Crankcase since he was a villain in Trap Team. He is a tech quick shot, and he has really cool goo blasters. Uh, I just love all of his moves. His Sky Chi is just insane, where he shoots his goo blasters in all directions. And yeah, I mean, what's not to love about the Crankcase himself? Lord Chaos himself comes in at number 3 for me. I mean, Chaos is just beyond overpowered. Now, you may be thinking, since he's overpowered, he should be higher up on the list than number 3. But the thing is, not all of his moves I use. I don't find a Doomlander move I use that much, or his Soul Gem move, although it does is really powerful and does cover a wide range. There are moves that I don't use by him, but he is a really good scounder, and I think that if I played it as, as him more, then maybe I'd grow to like him even more. But I thought that he kind of deserved the middle spot just because he is probably good. I just don't really know that. Okay, well, number three for me is Grave Clobber. He's another villain brought back from Trap Team. Why is he a water element? I don't really know, but that doesn't matter because his moveset ma makes up for it. He does so much damage. Even though his element is weird, he is a great sensei overall. A lot of people may say that Chain Reaction is overrated, but in my opinion, he's not. He's just a really good sensei. His attacks do a lot of damage, and his moveset is such a very, very fun one, and his design is super great. And overall, he's just a really good sensei, which is why he gets number two on my list. In at number two, I have Ember. Now, Ember used to probably be my favorite sensei, and if I did this video even just a few months ago, Ember would be number one. But since then, you'll get to see who my number one is now. But Ember is just amazing. She inspired me to make my fire creation crystal a sentinel just like she is. I love her moveset. I love her Sky Chi. She is a well-rounded Skylander and actually overpowered. So, I mean, come on. She's underrated, but I mean, she deserves to be overrated. Nope, that's not what I meant to say. Anyways, on to number one. Anyways, here at number one, we have the man, the myth, the Peñata. Now, Peñata is a magic smasher, and I think was the best choice for a magic villain sensei. His lollipop slam ability is amazing, and the fact that you can use two of them, which does double the damage if you charge it up, is really cool. His Sky Chi power is really fun to watch and fun to play with. And, I mean, I haven't really enjoyed playing as Peñata until fairly recently, when I finally discovered a liking to him. Also, fun fact, he was the last Skylander I bought in a store. I bought him in a Toys R Us in Canada, and that definitely lends him a place in my heart. Well, I must say, my favorite sensei is also a villain. Blastertron is coming in at number one. And not only is Blastertron my favorite sensei, he's also my favorite Skylander. He's a villain brought back from Trap Team, and his element actually stays the same. Unlike Grave Clobber, his moveset is just so fun. I use all of his moves. His attacks do a lot of damage, and his Sky Chi is really, really awesome. He literally turns into a giant, which is why Blastertron gets number one on my list. Well, guys, hope you guys have enjoyed this video of our top five favorite senseis. Remember to go subscribe to Alec Miller. He's in the description below. And thank you guys for watching.